COVID-19 cases are on the rise. We've been talking about this now for the last week or so. Hospitalizations from the virus are increasing all across Georgia. The latest CDC data through August 5th shows a jump of 30% in hospital admissions in Georgia compared to the week before. And we're also seeing that trend nationwide with a 14% increase in hospitalizations over that same period of time. Medical experts do say the most recent variant does not seem to cause severe symptoms, but it is taking over and rapidly becoming the dominant strain. Atlanta News First reporter Amanda Rose breaks down everything you need to know from test kits to the latest COVID-19 booster so you can stay healthy. Here at Little Five Points Pharmacy, they're selling out of these COVID-19 test kits fast. The owner tells me they've sold several dozen just in the past few days, and he doesn't expect that to slow down anytime soon. We're all familiar with signs just like this, warning you about the symptoms of COVID-19. Signs becoming all the more important as cases of the virus and hospitalizations increase across our state. COVID-19 is back. Quite honestly, I don't think COVID-19 is going away anytime soon. Little Five Points Pharmacy owner Ira Katz tells us COVID-19 test kits are in short supply everywhere and they're no longer free. Check before you buy to see if it's approved uh, by the FDA. I think at this state we need to make certain that we take it seriously. Piedmont Healthcare's Dr. Jane Morgan explains there's a new variant making the rounds. She says the COVID-19 booster currently available will provide protection but not as much as the new booster. So far, the symptoms seem very similar to everything else in the Omicron family. They can be fairly mild or at least not severe enough to require hospitalization, so that's good news. Dr. Morgan says a new booster for this variant will be available in October, but hopefully sooner, and she recommends everyone gets it. Talk with your doctor about whether or not you should wait until October or whether you should move forward with the booster now. This will depend on individual medical situations and conversations with your doctor. In Northeast Atlanta, Amanda Rose, Atlanta News First. You'll be able